Hey, good morning, it's Eric. So today it is cold in Hershey, but we have an excellent opportunity to go check out the butterfly atrium at the Hershey Gardens. Um, we've been invited to come and do a tour today. So I'm walking in now and thank goodness because I know that it is warm inside that atrium. So freezing cold out here. So what I wanted to do here is I'm starting a series about fun things to do in Hershey during the off seasons. Visiting the gardens and the butterfly atrium is definitely one of those things. We'll hit a couple of the other places as well. Starting off with this week with the Hershey Gardens. Here's just another shot in the lobby. Um, look at all the butterflies hanging from the ceiling. I just think that's so cool. It's really neat. So off to the right here, they have a um, photography exhibit where there's different photos and paintings on display and you can actually purchase these. And they're all mixed nicely in with uh, the different kinds of vegetation that they have on display here in this room as well. It's really nice. They actually have a display here to show you how to plant your own chocolate garden at home. And different kind of plants that you can plant outside. Ooh. And there's cocoa hall mulch. Dig around in that a little bit. I think it's made from the shells of the cocoa beans. Neat. Oh wow, look, they grew candy. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Thank you. So if you wanted to plant and grow your own chocolate garden, these are the plants that you would choose to do that. And there's a few more over here. When you visit here, if you're interested in purchasing any of the art on display, you can um, visit this table here. And then we'll show you how you can do that. Thank you. Oh, oh the big room of mirrors. <laughs> big room of mirrors. <laughs> Watch the butterflies that have That's right. So you already know what to do, so just yep. come in and enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. So I'm gonna stand still when I'm in here filming just because I don't wanna step on any of them because there's so many of them around, but uh, one just landed on my head already and it flew away. I also have to keep unfogging my camera because it was cold outside and it's really warm in here. It's fogging up again. Yeah, right here. Okay, so here in the butterfly house, there's like 400 different species of butterflies and insects in here. Um, a lot flying around, they're very active today. It's also very warm in here, so I can imagine they're very happy. So this is the chrysalis cabinet, and you can see there are many different cocoons in here. All butterflies growing, waiting to hatch. tells you what kind they are here on the side. I can't pronounce any of those names. But it's very neat to see all the different types of cocoons. Uh, are there any hatching right now? I don't see any hatching, but it looks like a few. I've already hatched and are waiting to come out. Look at these big guys. Oh my goodness. Mm. Hello. I don't know what those are, but I don't like them. They're weird. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Sorry, I bumped you. Sorry. More chrysalises over here. Oh, did that one just hatch up there in the back? Cool. 
So when you're here, you can also pick up this uh, butterfly atrium butterfly guide. A little information about the butterflies, how they go from caterpillar to butterfly in metamorphosis. And then it's a good guide of the different kinds of butterflies that they have in here. Neat. They're very active today. <laughs> So not only is there a big focus on the uh, many types of butterflies in here, but there's so many different kinds of vegetation as well. Ooh, look at that big guy. I did do a little research before I came in to see um, how I could maybe attract a butterfly to me. And apparently if you wear like really bright clothing, like yellows, reds, oranges, pinks, stuff like that, uh, that's what they're looking for, so they must think that they're flowers and they come after you. So I wore navy blue. It does take a little getting used to with being in here, with the butterflies flying around. I know they're completely harmless, but for a first time person visiting the butterfly atrium, um, it is a little weird to have them flying all around you and possibly landing on you. It does take a little getting used to, but once you do, um, it's so much fun. So don't fear them, they're alive. I think they're, are they landing on me? Got any? I'm hoping I get at least one or two. I really could just stay in here all day. It's so serene, and so quiet, and so nice. It's of course a little busier whenever there's more people visiting, but um, this is pretty amazing. One of the employees just uh, pointed out that this is a new plant called the Dwarf Powder Puff, and that the butterflies like it after it is already in bloom because they like to get the nectar then after that. And each of these little pods here will become the things here that kind of look like the, the truffalo tree from Tuffalo, I don't know what it's called. Tuffalo from the Lorax. But it is a really pretty plant. It's neat. Like she said they're putting on quite a show today. They're very excited about the sunshine. I got this plant, the Egyptian star cluster. Ooh. I need to leave because it's so awesome in here, but um, I think I'm done. I think I've got a lot of really great footage of the butterflies and some great photos. That I can't wait to share with you guys. So I'm gonna go home and edit this out and put it up for you guys to see today. Thank you. I just wanna go over to the very little thing, make sure that this is the thing. All good? Yep, yeah, a little bit of All right, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Don't forget to check for stowaways. And of course, a gift shop. Books about Hershey. Those are nice shirts. Butterfly art. This is all of the Hershey Gardens in the background here. Um, it's huge, actually. It goes a lot farther than you can see just from this clip. Oh, there's the hotel. But it's really cold today, so I'm not going to walk around out here. There's not much to see anyway. They said the best time to come back is like 
starting in the spring, obviously March, April, May, late April, early May is probably when the most things are in bloom. So including all the roses and everything like that. So we will come back then and do a whole full tour of this whole world out here. I mean, it goes all the way over there, over there, back there. It's actually really cool. They have like Japanese gardens, um, of course the rose gardens as well. And then there's a whole children's section that we can go back and check out too. We will do that whenever it's warmer out. I want to say thank you to the Hershey Gardens for inviting me to do this today. It's been a great experience. We love to come up here and visit the gardens, especially nice this time of year whenever it's really cold outside. It's really nice in here. But the butterflies are so active this morning and the sunshine is definitely making them very happy. It's been a great day. All right guys, that's all I got for today. Make sure you check out the other videos in this series of what to do in Hershey during the off season. Plenty of things to do in here. Make a couple day visit, maybe a long weekend. Um, lots of new videos coming soon. This is a really cool place. If you like what you saw here today, uh, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you get notifications about other videos that we're making here in Hershey. It's a sweet town. No pun intended. Okay, total pun intended. But yes, it is a sweet town. There's lots of fun things to do here, and we can't wait to share them all with you guys. So, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.